the thing here is uh, I'd like to ask uh, Secretary Bellio are you do you want or are you ready to repeat your uh, uh, they are here I, I, I would rather that uh, sabihin mo na lang yung sinabi mo no? No, kasi wala sila dito so that they can respond correctly and accurately uh, to your well it, it might be your misgivings or it might be your uh, doubts hindi nila narinig eh but so kailangan um, you, 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 might, you might just repeat it anyway it's, it, it's for public good uh, wala namang problema dyan kung sino ang mali kung sino ang hindi there's nobody here who is really correct and nobody here who is totally wrong in so far as public good is concerned so I would rather that uh, you repeat what uh, you have uh, complained it was really complained and uh, you have the floor uh, thank you Mr. President and with due respect to our medical experts, especially the technical working group of the inter interagency task force, I came up with a report, Mr. President, about the heavy burden that the new protocol has on our resources. Ang sinasabi ko nga, Mr. President, from the record of the IATF and TFTGROF, one stop shop, yung COVID-19 testing positivity rate of returning overseas Filipinos for 2020 is only 2.07%. Ngayon, under 2021, Mr. President, the current Quarantine protocol of seven to nine days stay of OFWs in hotel quarantine facilities. The COVID-19 testing positivity rate is only 1.5 percent. Kaya nga po kami nakikiusap sa na Mr. President na kung mari we go back to the regional protocol noon na pagdating no ano ng ating mga OFWs swab agad sila. Then, they are quarantined for five days while waiting for the result of the, this, the PCR test. And kapag negative sila, then they can be transported to their final destination. Kasi, Mr. President, aside from the economic you know, consideration, these OFWs have long missed their homes. Ang tagal nila abroad kumikita, naghihirap para lamang kumita para sa pamilya nila. Ngayon, inuwi natin sila. And they have to stay for almost 14 days in quarantine. Notwithstanding the fact na after five days, they have been found to be negative. Bakit hindi natin sila pa win, Mr. President? And going back to my uh, figures na 2.7% lang naman ang nagpapakita na yung ating mga overseas Filipinos eh nagpapas na sitib sila. Kaya yun po ang pakiusap namin. Of course, I will still yield to the uh, decision of the IATF, Mr. President. Kaya lang gusto ko pong iparating yung kalagayan ng ating mga OFW. Talagang hirap na hirap sila, Mr. President. They are crying. Itong cellphone ko, Mr. President, no less than three to 500 text messages I receive from them every day. Okay lang kami uwi. Ang tagal naman ng resulta ng, ng PCR. Ganun, Mr. President. And we cannot close our eyes to the miseries of our OFWs. Kaya yun, pakiusap lang naman, Mr. President. Kung pwede naman, pwede lang. Kung hindi naman, then we still submit to the decision of the IATF, Mr. President. Okay. Uh, is that all? Y y yun na yun, Bot. Yun, yun naman talaga ang sinabi mo noon. It's just the same way. Uh, so, I'd like to call uh, si before our uh, uh, government uh, members of the panel, I'd like to call Dr. Edsel Maurice uh, Sarpania. 
certain you enlighten this uh, enlighten us on this yes uh, thank you mr president uh, good afternoon to all the members of the iatf and the resource persons um i am uh, i completely uh, understand and commiserate with uh, secretary bello that this is really something that is a difficult uh, situation especially quarantine ako po last year na quarantine rin po ako and it was really the longest few days of my life na separated from the family So I understand the personal impact uh, of this po. Uh, however, we know po that uh, COVID, uh, especially the variants of concern, have come into the country through um, the different, ano po, through, the di- through, through returning uh, travelers po. And this is why it is really essential that we have some sort of control to prevent the entry of these variants of concern. Um, do I have my slide? Uh, can I ask the Secretary to share my slide? Uh, while we are waiting, Mr. President, I think that uh, everybody naman is cognizant of the fact that um, the quarantine uh, has already, um, you know, it, it really has an impact. Uh, but uh, what our proposed solution po is actually there is data that we can shorten quarantine from 14 days to 10 days, provided uh, that the person remains uh, asymptomatic uh, during that whole time. The second uh, point that we will make po once I have my slides is also that uh, the testing, kasi ang timing po ng testing is really the problem. If if somebody gets uh, infected in transit on the plane, pag tinest niyo po siya pagdating, hindi pa po magpa-positive yan. It usually takes three to five days for the um, person to turn positive on PCR. And um, so that's why po yung uh, ginawa natin is we test on the fifth day. But based on the Department of Health data, in fact, even after the fifth day, there are still about 40% of people who still test positive on the seventh day po of arrival. So our uh, proposed solution po kasi is that um, the testing, even on the fifth day, will still not pick up everyone. So it is either we test on the seventh day or we completely do away with the testing but make sure that we quarantine everybody until the tenth day po. Um, and this can be done in facility but again it is very expensive or we can do this at home as long as the LGUs can uh, uh, supervise strict every day. Parang po yung sa Singapore na alam po nila kung lumalabas yung tao o hindi. Um, uh, para sigurado po na hindi sila, maka, hindi sila maka-spread ng COVID because that is really our biggest concern is that if somebody comes in with a variant of concern and um, tra- uh, transmits it to the community which has already happened in Pasay um, uh, magkakalat po talaga and magsusearch po tayo ulit uh, Test on arrival po tapos uh, if negative complete 14 days isolation at home or at the LGU And then, noong December 2020 po, when we met with you po, sa Malacanang because of the variant, ang ginawa po natin, 14 days facility-based quarantine. And we tested on the fifth day. And then, earlier this year, in February, we shifted to the five-day facility quarantine with testing on the sixth day. And uh, kung negative, uh, rinirelease po. Uh, with the stipulation that the LGU continue to uh, uh, make sure that they quarantine to complete 14 days po. Next slide, please. So, ito po yung advantage ng dati, before December, mabilis po siya kasi testing on arrival, and of course, it's less costly. The disadvantage is that because kung nahawa ka ng virus in the plane, hindi pa magpa-positive yung test mo, and if we release you, then magsa- ikakalat mo po yung virus in your uh, LGU if they are not very good at ensuring na nakawarantine po kayo ng 14 days. Uh, so, nasa handoff po ito, from uh, the airport to the LGU na nagkakaroon ng problema. Next slide, please. And then, yung from December 2020 to February 2021, ito po actually was ideal because we really kept people in facility for 14 days. And halos nakita niyo naman po, wala tayo naging holiday surge. Um, we were able to control the variants up to February. So, your, uh, ano po, yung, yung inutos niyo po ito na two weeks na facility-based quarantine, this was the most efficient way of controlling the entry. The problem is po, it's very expensive and was not sustainable and that is why we changed it in February. Next slide, please. 
And when we changed it in February, the stipulation was five days and then test. And then the LGU should strictly monitor the completion of quarantine. And the advantage of this was less extensive. Uh, and the testing on the fifth day is better than testing on arrival. Because again, if you test on arrival, baka nagtatago pa yung virus, hindi pa po siya magpa-positive. But the disadvantage, as uh, Secretary has already said, this is still very expensive. Um, and now that we have seen that even up to the seventh day, pwede pa sila mag-test positive sa seventh day rather than the fifth day. So may nami-miss pa rin po. And of course, uh, we did have some lapses. Kaya po, kasama rin po dun sa ating search ngayon, nakita po natin kumalat ng konti yung variants of concern. Uh, next slide, please. And so, yung just uh, some definitions po, when we talk about uh, true and false positives, yung pag nag-positive po sa PCR, almost always tunay po yan. The only question is whether nakakahawa siya or nakarecover na siya. Um, and then, we can distinguish this naman as long as we look at the history of the traveler, kung nagkaroon na siya ng symptoms, most likely, nawawala na yon. Pero kung nagsisimula pa lang yung symptoms niya, that is a real positive. We can distinguish that po. So, true posi false positive is very rare. So, hindi po namin iniisip yun masyado. If somebody tests positive, the safest action po talaga is to isolate, especially kung may variants of concern tayo kasi nakita niyo naman kahit yung nangyari sa Benguet, isa lang yung makalusot, catastrophic po talaga. Next slide, please. Um, this is uh, this really just shows po yung rate of RT-PCR results. Uh, if you notice, wala pong 100% dyan. And that is why we say that testing is optional kasi even if you test someone who is symptomatic, there's still a possibility na mag-negative pa rin yung test. Uh, and so this is why it is uh, we say that testing is optional for as long as we can complete the 10 days quarantine. Kasi yun po yung mas sigurado to say na hindi nakakahawang isang tao rather than testing on the first day, on the fifth day, or on the seventh day. Next slide, please. Um, this is this just shows the period na nagpa-positive po yung virus at kung kailan po siya nakakahawa. Next slide, please. So ito po yung proposed changes as we have already mentioned. Uh, we can shorten the duration of quarantine from 14 days if no, there are no symptoms to the end of 10 days. Basta walang symptoms, we can do it 10 days. Testing is optional unless somebody is symptomatic. If we are going to test someone who does not have symptoms, it should be done on the seventh day. Ideally pa rin, facility-based quarantine, but we recognize that this is very expensive. If for LGU home quarantine, as long as it can be assured, dapat daily po and strict compliance at home, and dapat set up po talaga yung house. And then any positive, the test will be reviewed, but the safest to assume it is still contagious and we need to complete isolation. Next slide, please. So there are two options that we are talking about. One is strict facility quarantine and selective testing. So we, we want everyone to get uh, isolated for 10 days, uh, but you can optional po yung 7th day testing. Kahit walang testing, uh, pag nakompleto yung 10 days and walang symptoms, we can release them po. Uh, next slide, please. And then option two, if tapos uh, po talaga yung funds for, for facility-based quarantine, we can do strict LGU quarantine. If they are set up at home, we can do that. If not, uh, sa TTMF kung pwede. And uh, selective testing uh, as mentioned on the seventh day po. Next slide. Uh, that's it po. Thank you very much. Uh, ang sunod si, have I called Dr. Ana Ong Lim? Good evening po, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. um, the technical advisory group had um, some preliminary discussions po regarding the uh, current issue. And um, we were thinking that uh, based on the data that we have right now, uh, it's a better option to um, review the testing protocol, uh, make sure that it can be done at a later, uh, rather recommend that it be done at a later time, but that the critical intervention should really be um, that quarantine should be strictly enforced because um, whether or not testing is done for as long as quarantine can be imposed, then we continue to keep our borders safe. So, yun pong nuances nun, 
um, uh, when the test is best done, um, will actually be moot kung uh, ma-i-impose po natin yung, ng maayos yung quarantine from end to end. Sir, I uh, mentioned po um, that the um, recommendation that the TAG um, worked on uh, as it met prior to this uh, briefing was actually to propose that um, it's more critical to focus on quarantine measures uh, because this will ensure that any entry of variants um, from travelers can be better controlled. Um, this is really coming from the um, fact that tests uh, always have a false negative rate. And um, if we really want to secure our borders, then the only way to go is to implement quarantine strictly. Um, well, preferably for 14 days, but at the minimum, at least for 10 days po. Uh, 